Hi and welcome to McGunn Media. I'm Anna Gunn and in this short video we're going to be showing you how we created these images and the full behind the scenes setups for you to be able to recreate it too. So to create this image it's a five step process. Step one is your background. Here we have a black piece of card and you need to make sure that your background is exactly the same size as your frame. Certainly not smaller, it can be a little bit bigger. The distance from your camera to the backdrop is then set based on that and then everything else is left alone. Step two is your light source. Here in our studio we have a white alcove and so we just aim flashes into the alcove to provide a massive big light source. You can achieve the same at home by bouncing flashes into um, foam boards or whatever you have in your own studio. Step three is the product. Now the product here is set at a distance from the camera depending on what it is you are looking for aesthetically and how big your product you would like to see in your frame. So that's purely down to your own aesthetic. Once that is set, step four is the matte box. And the matte box is set between the camera and your product and the requirement for that is that the side facing the product has a black side to it so that the only reflection that the product is seeing is from your light source around the edges. The matte box here we've just made, it's a piece of card and we've just cut out the middle and put black on the one side to it. If your aesthetic is that you would like a white, full white reflection on the product, you can change the black to white but in this image we've gone for black and that is how we've achieved our images. Step five is a black curtain and the black curtain gets placed behind the camera and this makes sure that you as the photographer aren't being seen into your product in any reflections and the rest of your studio or environment also is not seen or reflected in the product. The only thing in the product is what you wish to see in it from the light source. With this setup, you will easily be able to obtain these images. We hope that you found this video to be informative and if you like it, please leave us comments and feedback in the comments box below.